Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the buffed attack evolver in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get 45 likes on today's video. I highly appreciate it. It helps out the channel a bunch. Over on the secondary, we're going with the Renetti. Tactical is stun grenade, lethal frag grenade. Field upgrade is munitions box. Scavenger gloves, cover sneakers on the boots, and EOD padding over on the gear. For our vest, we're going with a demolition vest. This gives us resupply and two lethals. Now let's jump straight into the class setup. So before getting into everything, I will throw up a screenshot of like the so-called everything that got buffed but over on the stock we're going to be using the rampart heavy stock for gun kick control and recoil control the cons are aimed on side speed sprint to fire speed sprint speed and movement speed over on the rear grip we're going to be using the xrk response grip this gives us aiming out of sway gun kick control and recoil control and over on the magazine, we're going to be using the 50 round 762 belt. This gives us movement speed, sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, and reload quickness. I do like using 100 rounds sometimes. It really just depends. But over, if you go over and look at the 100 round uh, belt, you actually get bullet velocity, recoil control, gun kick control, and sprint to fire speed. But you lose out on a lot of ammo reserve, damage range, and damage. It actually goes down quite a bit actually i mean the numbers speak for itself i would not be using this belt i unless you're like you really don't care about the damage too much but personally that uh, the damage is really really useful in my opinion and over on the muzzle we're going to be using the l4r flash hider muzzle this gives you muzzle flash concealment recoil control and gun kick control and over on the barrel we're going to be using the lrf righteous long barrel this gives you bullet velocity and range aiming auto sway aim walking speed and recoil control overall this is a very very good class setup you will notice that there's literally no recoil in my gameplay and now i'm probably going to be running this for now on like I'm, i don't think i'm going to come up with a different class setup unless it's like a faster uh more ADS speed kind of build, but I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And as always, if you do, let me know with a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me. And I also have a discord. So if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. All right, we're going to be checking out the attack evolver. It, I'm pretty sure this gun recently got a buff in multiplayer and in Warzone. I might be, I might be wrong on one of those. I'm not too sure. Might be wrong. I don't know. But, anyways, we're gonna be, we're gonna be using the gun today. I mean, this gun fries. I think they're gonna come. They're gonna come in playing here, so I'm just gonna hide right here. And then I'm gonna push back out. They're on P1 right now. Is there anybody down here? I aimed out and still got the kill. I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot my gun isn't fully leveled up, but I still have a really, really good class setup for you guys. As you can see, this thing is frying. I think it's killing in like four bullets. I might be wrong on that too. Oh no. Nope. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with the snipers. No way. No way. He just spawned here. They have a juggernaut. I'm about to back out. I'm I'm now we're actually you know what? We're gonna win the game. We're still gonna win this game. Just give give me give me a second. Wait, teammates killed him and he left. <laughs> what? What? 
<laughs> what are the odds? You die off your jug and then you lose or you leave the game. That's actually insane. Never seen anybody sit right there before. Just let me let me let me cook real quick. Let me let me cook. Let me cook. I'm gonna slide in here. Check. Okay. They're definitely on the out. These these people are actually playing for the win. I I like it because my team is quite literally doing doing absolutely nothing. Why are you down here? I got stuck. I'm gonna go to cockpit here and try to hold mid hall. I stun that back there, so make sure nobody's up there. Okay, well, somebody's pushing in. Kind of just trying to keep them off of this right now. Why are we still pushing? Staring at my mini map, I see you, buddy. Hey, we are losing. I'm, this guy got another juggernaut. Okay, well my my VTOL should take him down. Oh no, this is this is not good. Literally the only way I can win right now. Okay, never mind, he's gone.
No, what? They're still spawning back there. What is this game? No way. No way I lose like this. There's just no way I win. There's literally no way. I need to protect my teammates, like, badly. Oh my god. Okay, there is a way we win this. There is a way. We have to get on time. We have to get on this time. Come on. They're gonna be spawning on us. Oh my god. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I, I died off so many nukes. They got two juggernauts. I killed one with my veto. I don't know how my teammates killed the other one, but 82 kills. GG's to those guys. They played really, really good. I mean, look at them.